Better name, Shafiq Ismail. All right, so what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about Bridge the Card Game. And it's an opening bird crib sheet. Who is it for? Generally for the beginners, novices, and intermediates. So let's dive into this immediately, and I can explain to you what this is all about. Okay, so what does this do for you? Well, basically, this is a crib sheet that helps you to come up with a bid. How many times haven't you asked yourself, oh my God, what do I do with this hand? I'm an opening bidder, and I'm not sure what to do with what I have in my hand. Now, there's very, very uh, multiple scenarios that enters your mind, especially when you're a beginner, when you're starting out, it's a little difficult, no doubt about it. So, this is going to make it so much easier. Let me explain how it works, and then you take it from here. If you've got any questions, okay, do not hesitate, just contact me. You can even leave me a message on that phone number, 215-585-2483, or you can even send me an email on, on, on breach the card game at highlevel.com. So here we go. All right, so if you're the opening bidder, you've got 13 cards in your hand. Okay, the first question, and these are called decision diagrams. It's a question that we're going to be asking. And the question, the first question is, do you have more than 12 points? If, or 12 or more, then you go that way. Otherwise, you go that way. So let's say you had uh, 8 points. And if you had 8 points and really a bad hand, you're really not going to do much with it, right? I mean, that's the first thing we teach you, is you start bidding when you have something uh, or points more than 12 or 13 plus points. So let's say you had 8 points. Let's just go down this route, and, and I will show you more or less what this does. Okay, it says <clears throat> you have 12 or less, yes. So, so, so is, do you have a count greater than 12? No, you don't. You go around this way. Is your point count 6 or less? No, you have a little bit more. Is your count 7 to 9? Yes, it is. Do you have a 7-card suit? No, you do not. Do you have a 6-card hearts or spades or diamonds? No, you do not. What do you do? You pass. Do you see how simple that is? Okay, let's go through another one. Assuming you want to bid one no trump. Okay, so the question is one no trump. Okay, without even looking at this chart, what do you need? Okay, as a novice, you may not know, but I'll tell you that you need between 15 to 17 points. Uh, generally, when you want to open no trump, no singletons, and no two doubletons. Okay, that's the general rule. So let's go down this decision chart. And let's see how the script sheet will help you. Question. Is your point count above 12? Yes. Is it more than 22? No. So you're going to go down this route. If, is it between 20 and 21? No. So you're going to go around further. Is your point count 17 to 21? No. So you're going to go around a little bit more. But is your point count 15 to 17? Yes. And do you have a single turn, or do you have any voids? N you do not. Then this is an error. That should be yes, and this should be no. If you do not have any voids, then you should build one no trump. Otherwise, you build your longest suit. All right. I'm going to rectify that and re-make uh, this video. But in the meantime, uh, this is exactly the kind of decision-making that we need to do. Uh, for example, what happens if you've got a seven-card suit and you want to know what should you bid? Should you bid three or should you bid two? Uh, or should you bid four or should you bid one? So let's go down this route. It's, uh, it says, okay. Is your point count, point count above uh, 12? No. Is your point count 6 or less? If it is, yes. And if, it's, if you have an 8-card suit, you're going to put 4 of that suit. But if it's not, you're going to pass. 
because your point count is very low. But assuming you do not have six or less points, do you have point count seven to nine? Yes. Do you have a seven card? Then but three of that two. But assuming you do not have a seven card, then you're going to come down here. Is you, do you have a six card suit? Yes, then but two of that suit. If you do not have six cards in that suit, then just pass because you have seven to nine points. You do not have a seven card suit. You do not have an eight card suit. You do not have a six card suit. So all you want to do is pass. So let's go on further this chain. So is, it, is your point count 10 to 11, for example? If it is, you have two suitors with five and five. Uh, if you do, then but one of the higher suit, because the general rule of 20, you've got two suits, and you've got about 10, 11 count. Uh, you use that rule, and you open one of the higher suits. Is your, again, if you have 10 or 11 count, but you do not have two suitors, you have one good major suit. If you do, put it down to one level. Don't go crazy, but put one level. Now, generally, I would recommend you doing this as you get better at bridge. You, but if you're still a beginner and a novice, I would just pass it. All right? Okay, so... I did find an error with the crib sheet, and I'm going to have this fixed. In the meantime, you enjoy. If you've got any questions, let me know. And again, um, click on the link below if you need any additional crib sheets like these. I'm going to be doing quite a few of those uh, on all the conventions that we're going to be doing, like, for example, uh, Capilati and Don't and uh, Transfers over the Node Trump and Jacoby, two no trumps, and Michaels, oh, lots and lots and lots of stuff. So if you want to be kept up to date with everything that we develop, okay, click on the link below, put in your email address, uh, send it to us, and we will automatically send it to you once it's been developed. All right, happy bridge you have, and it's